All right, everybody, welcome back to Sports Nation. Joined now by WNBA star Candace Parker of the Los Angeles Sparks. Uh, Candace, thank you so much for being here. You're a friend of the show. You've been here at ESPN a bunch. I've seen you do two things. So off the court, I've watched you grow in terms of being an analyst. And then on the court, obviously, you're still amazing and a champion at every single level. Talk to me about the dichotomy of those two lives that you live now. Well, I think for me, I'm a big planner. So I like to know what's next. And I feel like with the job that I have now, I've never worked a day in my life. I love basketball mm. and I get paid to play basketball. So after basketball is over, which is father time, it doesn't spare anybody. Um, I know it's, you know, it's going to come to an end eventually. Mm -hmm. Why not get paid to, to speak about basketball? You're right. You know Since what I mean? You know or it play, so well. Play, you know, play and speak about basketball, that's not work. You posted something that I thought was really interesting the other day on Twitter. We gotta go to the vault. And you said, you know, God bless you and I hate in, in short, mm -hmm. uh, but you hope that you can get to the point where you can opt out of a $30 million deal. And that was just with everyone trying to figure out where LeBron was going. Talk to me about the pay disparity and how you feel. I mean, 35.7. To be exact. I mean, I'm not counting, but the, the point .7 would make a difference in my life. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh, 35.7 million uh, is a lot of money, but I think, you know, you look at some of the pioneers of the men's game, and if you ask the NBA players that played in the 70s and the 80s, if they thought the NBA would get to the point that it's at now, yeah. I think they, they would say yes. Um, did they deserve to get paid a little bit more during those times? Maybe yes. Did they fly commercial flights as we do now? Yes, so I understand that it is a building block and we, you know, have lots of room to grow. Um, but I think all of us just want to leave the league better than when we came into it. Yeah. And I think that that's the, that's the goal for me. And if my daughter ever decides to pick up a basketball, I want her to have the same opportunity that my nephew has. Okay, in short, I'm saying pay these women. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> As she makes, she's gonna go elegant about it. You need to be paid because you command the same respect. The game is just as good. Uh, people have to go and watch it. I, I, speaking of LeBron and being here in Los Angeles now as a Laker, I expect him to see to be at Sparks games. What about you? I think he will. Yeah. I mean, he came to when I was playing Team USA. He was in London yeah. at the games um, in Beijing as well. So I, I think he will come, and I think it'll it'll bring more exactly bigger dynamic to the game. It will Obviously, add King James watching. Yeah, right. It will add to what is already an exciting game. Um, talk to me about where you all are as a team and what you'd like to see change. Well, right now, you know, the league is the league's tough. Everybody's <laughs> kind of battling. It's similar to the way the West was this past year sure. in the NBA, uh, with one game deciding whether a team is like the Thunder, or second, or sixth, or seventh. So for us, it's right now just jockeying for position. We're not, we didn't start as well as we wanted to, but we have a lot of, lot of season left um, and hopefully can be there by the time the playoffs roll around. You know what, that's all the key, right? Let's just get in the playoffs and then we can take it from there. I think that that's the key, but I also think, um, you know, the game has changed. The league How has so? changed. You know, it's top to bottom, a lot more talented teams. It used to be before you could look on your schedule and be like, okay, we got this win, we got this win, we got this win. Now everybody is able to beat everybody. And so it changes the landscape of the league. And, you know, night in and night out, schedule-wise, you know, you're, you're, you're playing great teams every night. Well, that brings us back to our, our uh, original topic of uh, the pay disparity. If you're saying there are so many great teams and you just don't know who you can be, you all deserve to be paid accordingly. Uh, my opinion. Okay. Uh, that and is I my value, opinion. I value my opinion. your opinion. Yes. Um, <laughs> but there's a lot of things that go into that. Yeah. So for me, it's doing those things necessary to make sure that that happens. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen right now. Right. So make sure that eventually it happens. And for me, it's just getting people interested in the women's game. In the actual I, mean, I always talk about this. You know, women did not play college sports until the 70s. Mm -hmm. Can we just put that in perspective? Mm -hmm. You know, so for the game to be 22 years young, this professional longest standing sports league to be 22 years It'll young. It'll take some time. It's going to take some time. Yeah. I mean, you ask, what, Magic? Do you think he was making Steph Curry bucks? Steph, Magic Man. I mean, I'm just Magic saying. Magic wants his money. He I'm said saying, if he though, do... from the Lakers, was, Steph, was, was Magic making 200 he was whatever not. contract? He no. was not. But it, Steph can thank Magic for that. Yeah, and by the way, you ask Magic, does he deserve some retroactive pay? He'll tell you, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm well. all for that. I'm all for He's the retroactive pay. No, I'm all for that. <laughs> All right, Candace Parker of the Sparks, Los Angeles Sparks. Thank you so much for being here. Thank I appreciate you. it. Such a beauty and so smart.